Good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to my newest video blog, the newsletter. Uh, and I find myself at Santa Monica and the first thing that strikes you when you're on the way here, what magnificent country you come through. It's, it's all inspiring. And you, you round that bend and you see the sea and you see the hinterland of the trees and, and you're just inspired by the, by the ecology, by the wildlife and you know it brings you to think of uh, the custodians, the original custodians of the land, the Garabanod people. And, and we need to acknowledge their leadership, their leaders past, present and emerging in their custodianship of this land, which is extraordinary. So I find myself at Santa Monica, which is an outstanding part of our educational offerings. And this week has been around learning walks for me. It's been walking into to classrooms, into our play areas, into our outdoor ed center, to look at how we teach and how we learn. And what I found uh, inspiring is the quality of not only what we're doing, but what we're learning. Uh, I challenged myself this week and I spent some time with Professor Cahill at uh, Melbourne Uni, who's a, a, a leading light, an absolute expert in the area of social and emotional learning. And I asked her, what should I be looking for? Really challenged me, what lens should I be looking for? And she said, what we're looking for is a safe environment, a safe environment for the boys to express themselves. We want to hear student voice. We want to see agency. We want to see working in partnership and collaboration. We want to see people working with each other and for each other. And, and I'm very happy to, to report that I'm seeing it again, experts in not only teaching, but experts in professionally teaching boys. Extraordinary, so it's been outstanding. I've loved that. So I find myself in Santa Monica and, and I've been thinking a lot about what we, we offer here and, and I've been thinking about it because all the boys, they talk about the surfing experience, they love it and of course coming from Wales we didn't really get a great deal of surfing in at that point I'll be honest with you but we think about how we go about teaching the surfing and how that translates and, and speaks to the way we teach the boys. So when we teach the boys how to surf, we, we're up front and we say the outcome for you the outcome for you is we want you to ride a wave. We want you at the end of this to be able to stand on a board and ride a wave in. And we're expecting that from all the boys. We're not expecting you know, the best sportsmen to do it and the, and the Daviesies of this world not to be able. We're saying everyone will, if you put the time in and we'll help you in a safe environment, we'll help you all to surf. And so we take them down there, we put a safe environment in, we teach them how to surf. But importantly, when they get into that water, they choose then. They choose the size of the wave that they want to try. Some people will be very, very good at it and they'll start on the biggest waves. But for a lot of people like me, we start with the smallest waves and we work up. So when we think about our classroom, that's what we want to give our boys in every part of their learning. We want them to, to know what the outcomes are. We want to know what success looks like. We want to guide them, give them safety to, to work with them as they get towards that. At the end of the day, you know, they start off small and then the Vygotsky idea, we get bigger and bigger and bigger. So at the end of the day, we'll all succeed. And whatever wave we choose, we're all going to get up. So I hope you enjoy the week. I'm enjoying my time at Santa Monica. I'm going to go off with the boys now. And as you can see, I'm ideally dressed for the beach. I've got my black socks on. I will put my I will put my sandal on and I will knock my hanky and I'll be off to the beach. So everyone, enjoy the rest of the week and I'll talk to you in two weeks. Bye-bye.